Three and a half targets right, one and a half targets tall. Half target right, three quarters target low. Targets low. <laughs> hit on plate, moving. I uh, can't see where it hit, but target's moving. Right edge, three o'clock, just edge of plate. Okay. On there. Well, that wasn't too hard. One magazine. Okay, <laughs> that was nicely worked out. Good to go. Close the target right. Oh, dust just behind target. I'd say it's bottom right, but just behind. Just off, just off left edge. Oh, just off bottom left corner, just off. Bottom right corner, dust, just off. Right. Just off. <laughs> Do not see. Uh, target moving. I think it's six o'clock. Yeah, impact six o'clock. Oh, awesome. On there, just on the bottom edge. Oh, two yeah, that's it. That's just too windy to do that sort of thing.
G'day guys, um, out here today just trying something or other, didn't get the conditions we wanted but still got some hits on play. Uh, what we're actually doing, um, we had the rifle over here from GC Precision Developments, um, the CWS 308 and we got it and did a little bit of a showcase with it, shot it, um, shot it out a decent distance, that sort of stuff, it was all went really well, shot really nice, it was all great. I spoke to Gareth over there, um, the owner of the company, and he said loved it but he wouldn't mind if I pushed that a little bit further. No, it's not made for a really long range but um, wanted to see what I could actually stretch it out to. So I decided, listen, okay, we'll go um, a step too far and see what we can do and decided to see if we could get a hit on plate at 2,000 metres with a 308. Now it's only 20 inch barrel um, so it's sort of gone a little bit past the boundaries of things but I have another ulterior motive involved in what, involved in what I was doing there. What I wanted to do was, I have a little camera system. Now I haven't spent enough money to be able to buy a proper slow motion camera, but a little camera system to try and capture the, the flight of the bullet onto target. So I thought, listen, there's an opportunity I can do it with. Um, I have another 308 I was gonna do it with, but let's try it with this little one, tie the two things in together. Um, but, and I should say, I had to wait for a day to be able to do that sort of stuff, so on a mild morning we needed good light for the camera to be able to see things, and we needed reasonably low wind. Well, as you'll see, we didn't get our low wind, and we actually didn't get awesome light either, plus my little system, which is a little contraption I've got over here, um, all hidden behind a piece of wood there, um, there must be a, I'm using a, a target light system, and as part of the gear and that thing must have a little problem in it because the light was blinking on and off all the time um, and we hit it three times well only actually twice but we hit it uh, but the light was blinking on a lot more than that so I'd say there's a bad connection in it that's what I've actually done a little bit of wriggling to find out what's going on and that's what I found so um, anyway a little bit of a fail on the try I, well I think it's a fail anyway it might have a capture of a bullet flight but I don't think we've got that done Anyway, thanks Garrett, thanks for the use of that rifle, that little CWF, um, really awesome bit of kit, really liked it, shot really well and looks awesome too. Um, and yep, a 308 on plate at just over 2,000 metres. So the measurement was um, 2,237 yards, um, is what it was, which I'll, I'll put that on the, on the video there, but um, hits on steel, so awesome. Another good day out, even though we got these conditions, um, still good to get behind the trigger. And um, thanks for checking us out, guys. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, down below here, we've got a link to our web store where we have some of the specialised long-range shooting products that we actually produce. Check them out. And for those of you who can, it'd be great to get some help. In our store, we have support bits. And when you purchase those, the money goes direct to our channel and helps us bring these videos to you. Thanks, guys. See you next time.